Hello everyone and welcome. This is Dawn. I'm back with another video for you. Today I'll be using the Whimsy Stamps Gargoyle and Friends stamp set. So let's get started. First I'm going to stamp the gargoyle image with black Copic Friendly ink. Then I'm going to do some quick Copic coloring. I'm not going to do anything special so I'm just going to go through it kind of quick. I use C3 Cool Gray around the edge of the skeleton's head in a few of the spots. Then I bring in some C1 Cool Gray to go over the C3 a little. And then I fill the rest in with number 0 Neutral Gray to blend it all together. I use Y15 for the body of the candle and for the flame. Then I bring in Y14 Caramel because I wanted the candle to be a little more on the orange side. And then I just blend it all together with YR23. For the gargoyle I use W5 Warm Gray and I put some all around the edge of the gargoyle. And then I came with, in with some W1 Warm Gray and I just colored in the entire body with it and I just blended it as I went. For the eyes I use some C3 Cool Gray at the very top. And then I came in with some C1 Cool Gray to blend it out a little bit. And then I used the number 0 Neutral Gray to just blend everything all together. I cut the gargoyle image out using the second largest antique ATC frame die. Then I pick a striped piece of paper from the vintage Halloween paperback to use on my card. I take a piece of black cardstock and with my hands I just tear a strip off about 5 inches long because I'm not sure how much I need. And then I tear the black cardstock again but this time I make it a little wider about an inch thick and this will be my strip that I use on my card. Using the Whimsy Stamps Broken Spiderweb Embossing Folder I emboss a piece of white cardstock. And I just love how this spider web looks. It has really great detail to it, as you can see. I cut a piece of white cardstock to four and a quarter by eleven, and I scored it at five and a half to make a top folding card base. I cut a piece of black cardstock to four and one eighth by five and three eighths, and I trim the spider web cardstock down to four by three and one eighth, and then I trim the pattern paper to four by two and a quarter. Then I adhere the black cardstock to the white cardstock base. I adhere the spider web cardstock to the top of the black cardstock. And then I adhere the striped pattern paper under the white spider web paper. I trim the piece of torn black cardstock to four and a quarter inches long by tearing the ends off. Then I adhere it over the spider web panel and the pattern paper where they both meet to cover the seam. I put foam tape on the back of the gargoyle image and adhere it to the card. Next I'm going to use the Whimsy Stamps Fadoodle Fall Stamp to heat emboss my sentiment. I prep my paper with my embossing powder bag and I stamp the sentiment with Versamark ink. I did try some other colors to emboss with but I ended up going with the silver embossing powder. I thought the other colors were just way too dark once I heated them with my heat tool. I trim these sentiments down and I adhere them to the card with some foam tape. And to finish off the card I adhere little spiders from the Creepy Sparklets pack. And I use some of the sequins that's in the pack and I adhere them to the card as well. That completes my card for today. I want to thank you for joining me on the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to the Whimsy Stamps channel and their other social media platforms so you don't miss out on any upcoming releases and great videos. Also check out their website for the entire new release. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a wonderful day.